Hey friends, this is Ashley and Kevin from Uncommon Roots Homestead. And today we're gonna share our vision with you and tell you a little bit more about ourselves. And Liam's coming along for the ride. walking around. It's supposed to be kid free, but you know how that works. It's a little crooked. Let me, let's see. Is that better? Okay. All right, friends. Well, um, we've been wanting to do this video for a really long time. Like probably, well, really long is generous because we just started our channel like like four or five months <laughs> like so it hasn't been that long but um since we started our channel we've wanted to share our vision with you all um in a more concise way than what we do in videos when we're just kind of like talking and you know i think it's woven into everything that we're doing but um we've never really sit, sat down and like introduced ourselves and articulated why we're here and what we want to do and so today i think we want to do that um, <laughs> so, uh, um, so first we want to talk about who we are. Um, so obviously we are Ashley and Kevin McAlpin. Um, we live in East Tennessee and we are starting the journey of homesteading. Anything else about us? That... Um, no, I mean, you could tell them a little bit about your work and what you've been to this point. Yeah, yeah. So I think that like a, a big part of like who we are is what we do. Um, and we have up up until 2020, um, we were a really traditional um, working family. We both work. Um, I have a really successful career in marketing. I'm a marketing executive for a tech company. Um, I really love what I do. I love to... Um, help bring a product that I think is making a difference uh, into the hands of businesses all over the world. And I think that's really cool. Um, and so I love what I do in my, you know, day job. And uh, Kevin, you want to talk a little bit about what you have done up until 2020? <laughs> 2020 has been a wild ride and that's probably the same for most people, but um, certainly our, our family was not immune to any of the effects um, that the pandemic has had, uh, you know, to this point in 2020 so um i was uh hr and talent acquisition um uh leader in, in uh, primarily healthcare. and uh, this year i actually 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 was laid off uh in june so um, furloughed in march with a lot of other people and then unfortunately wasn't able to be brought back uh, so in june i lost my job um, which kind of threw us into a different scenario than we've ever been. We've been very blessed to both have gainful employment up to this point, uh, but we both have really had a calling or a passion to um, pursue things outside of work as well and make sure that work wasn't you know, just life for us. Um, so part of that is taking a journey toward homesteading, uh, you know, gardening, essentially raising animals. We've already started raising you know, small small livestock like chickens, um, which you have seen, but um, but really to, to push into that further. And I think me losing my job kind of just lit that spark um, even further. So I don't know if this steps on any other points that we have, but um, we've kind of decided just as a family that I will, um, you know, actually do a lot of the work on the homestead or the farm, um, you know, as my primarily, primary you know, form of employment. Um, whether gainful or not, we'll find out. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of the big life decision of 2020 for us. 
Um, Ashley's keeping her job and still gonna work full time, um, but also will be you know, heavy handed in production of content, um, you know, things like that. She's, she's the face of this. You wanna look at her a lot more than you probably wanna see me. So she's, she's the sizzle, but uh, I'm, I'm the stake behind it. <laughs> uh, so. yeah. Yeah, I think, um, so like up until this point, we've always felt really strongly about, you know, I, I've loved gardening for years. Um, I remember we, we had a huge fight over my first, <laughs> my first garden because Kevin didn't want to put a garden bed in our side yard in our, you know, neighborhood. Um, and luckily I won that fight, right? And here we are today with like, Kevin's gonna be a full-time farmer. So. <laughs> so it's funny how God works those things in mysterious ways. But, um, so I think like, you know, we want to talk a little bit about how we got here. And that's, I mean, that's really the story, right? Like I, I've been passionate about gardening and we together have really been passionate about supporting the local economy and finding sustainability, specifically food sustainability. Um, for a couple of years now, that's really been something that we've been focused on. And um, I think it probably all started, our like really intense devotion to food sustainability probably started January of 2018 when we did Whole30 for the first time, if we're being honest. Like that was the first time really we really like stopped as a unit and said, wait, what are we putting into our bodies? Um, oh gosh, it was even before that. It was maybe January of 2017 um, because Isla was born in 2018. Mm -hmm. um, but we like took a step back and said, wait, what are we putting into our bodies? What, what, like, where is our food coming from? And what is happening to our food before it becomes our food? And is that actually what we want for ourselves, for our future family? Um, and that kind of like started us down this rabbit hole that where like, it's in my personality, especially to like, if I feel strongly about one thing, I, that causes a domino effect because I feel like it's hypocritical to feel strongly about what you put in your body, but not what you put on your body. And like, okay, if we care about those things, then what about what we're doing to the earth that we live on? And like, it's kind of like spirals really quickly for me. Um, lucky Kev. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think that's where this all kind of started in this thought of like, what if we could contribute our small, our small changes that we make as a small family living in East Tennessee, what do those mean as they ripple effect through our local economy and through our world for sustainability and help making this place better for our children? Um, like this guy. Uh, and, how, and how do we do that? And what does that look like? So I think that's kind of how we got here. And you know, the reason we wanted to start a YouTube channel um, is because I feel like a lot of the things that we're doing, they're not novel. People are doing these things, but I think too often we don't talk about it and we don't talk about the repercussions that our decisions make. And we don't talk about how these decisions that we're making, they can coincide with a traditional modern life, right? Like I, I work at, in a corporate environment um, as an executive and leadership and I also can be a homesteader and though those things aren't separated from each other there are small things that we can all do to be more sustainable and to better support our local ecosystem especially so that's how we got here we want to share that journey um, and ultimately we want you to be a part of it I think that what what we're doing um, is best when we do it together. So I think that's why we want to share this. Yeah, and I wish you could see kind of where we started with all this, because it would make a lot of sense um, in a sense that like we have land and acreage right now that we're planning on utilizing for, for um, sustainability purposes, but we didn't start there. And um, I hope something that we can do is encourage people to just kind of grow where they're planted. Yeah. Um, so for us, you know, we started in a neighborhood that had an HOA. So we were part of the Homeowners Association, pretty strict rules. Um, but we started with one garden bed that was 
what was it? Four by eight. Four by eight. So, like, that's I where we started. For that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was a, a, a hard fought four by eight planter that we started growing vegetables in you know, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, all that kind of stuff. So, just a small decision. Um, that when you put it that way is really realistic for probably most people, whether they own a home, um, you know, whether you live in a city and have a condominium, you could start, you know, planting in, you know, tubs that you put yeah. kids toys in like we did with some sweet potatoes before. Um, but all these things, like if you make these small changes, um, you know, will will come, will compound and, you know, if we can do it as a family and start that way if more families can start doing that it just compounds and ultimately that's what will make change and make difference and make this world better so hopefully we can do that hopefully we can continue to encourage people too to just make those small decisions and make those small changes um, even if it means fighting with your significant other over it um, <laughs> it's worth it so it makes you stronger <laughs> yeah that's for sure but yeah uh, and you know one thing that kevin just said is um you know, figuring out, like, we want to encourage people to grow where they're planted. Um, and that actually, that sentiment is a huge part of why we decided to call our homestead Uncommon Roots Homestead. Um, we, neither of us are from here. We're not from East Tennessee. I grew up in Florida. Kevin grew up in New York. Um, we come from, you know, not sustainable families <laughs> um, like we and I, I mean that in like just the sense of uh, we don't come we don't come from families who were like agriculturally minded um, my no one in my uh, immediate family gardened my grandpa my grandparents did but we didn't live anywhere near them um, <laughs> He wants to tell his story too. Um, but so gardening wasn't something I grew up with. I, like local consumption isn't really a model that we followed. I I came from a, um, you know, a very like white collar family working in corporate America. Um, and just not, like that's just not any part of what I was raised with. And Kevin kind of has the same. Yeah, it kind of skipped a generation. My great grandfather was a farmer, but you know, my grandpa started a business and then um, none of my family was really raised to value, um, you know, gardening, farming, uh, the same way that, you know, generations before them were. So I think for us, um, it gets us in touch with some, some roots that yeah. are, uh, once again, uncommon. I yeah. think that's probably the story for a lot of people our age or in our generation, um, is that they were raised with know a family that you know thought farming and gardening and all that was great and livestock were great but were comfortable just kind of you know buying it from somewhere else right. or trusting um trusting other sources for for you know their consumption so i think that's part of where yeah. that uncommon comes from too yeah exactly and it's just kind of um you know if you would have asked us 10 years ago when we met where we would be today this would not have even like made the top 50 probably um like we didn't this is not we didn't we had no idea right we weren't born this way we weren't born this way and like this passion um isn't something that we've had like brewing for decades like this is something that god laid on our hearts and um really has helped take shape even forcefully uh i i think that you know kevin losing his job and feeling this call back to the land um that's a forceful execution of a new dream for us um and that's uncommon and so we know that like what we're doing is not common even in the homestead community um it's it's not necessarily common we we don't feel like everyone needs to live off the, the land. We don't think everyone needs to have acreage. We don't think everyone needs to be off grid. We don't really intend to be off grid. Um, and that's not, that's not common, but we're choosing to grow roots in a place that's not common um, because we feel like that's what we're called to do. And we feel like sustainability, though not common today, is something that we're all called to grow roots into. And that if we can all give one percent ten percent we can make this place so much better um and that helps for generations that's a legacy like our call is a legacy call um and so that's why we're here and i think um 
I have to go back to my little list. We didn't want to forget anything. Um, yeah, I think that, you know, when it, what it all boils down to and what we really want to do through the channels that we have access to are just encourage people to make the small decisions that help us be more sustainable as a community um, and to have the faith and the courage to grow where you're planted, even if it doesn't feel like it's the common or accepted thing to do. Um, and then just to let you all know that you always have a seat at our table. Um, you know, we're in the process of starting to build our home here on our 14 acre homestead. And one thing that I was passionate about and still, still am passionate about as we were looking at different floor plans and models and talking to the builder was that I need room for a table that sits at least, at least 12 people without, without adding extra chairs. Like I want a giant table because I feel really strongly that everyone should have a seat at our table. And that's what these channels are, right? We're inviting you to our table. We're inviting you to take a seat um, because you're welcome here and you're supposed to be here just as much as we are. Um, so yeah, that's why we're here. And we're excited yeah. to have you guys here. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Um, just going off of what she said, like, growing where you're planted once again is just something we're we're passionate about just to reiterate that once again um, if you're like me you need to hear things multiple times so you'll probably hear that you know multiple times in this video probably beyond this um, to grow where you're planted so once again where, wherever you are just taking those small steps will make a difference yeah and we're excited to do this together so for sure yeah thank you guys Thank you for joining us today, and thank you for joining us on this journey. Um, we're really excited. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and now, in the spirit of sharing our vision, we're gonna take you around the property. First, we're gonna check on the chickens. <laughs> Thanks everybody for joining us today. I hope that um, hearing our vision helps you to better understand what we're trying to do here. And we'd love to hear your feedback and your comments below. Um, thanks again for joining us. Thank you.